Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Brandy and today we are taking on the toys that are taking over my house. I'm going to start in my son's closet and I'm going to take this toy box and I'm going to use it for my three-year-old and then I'll just swap out one of her toy bins. And this shirt has been missing for months. It's my older daughter's and I have no idea how it ended up in my son's room, in his closet, on the floor, but I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all of Scotty's stuff back, and he is actually my cleanest and most organized kid, so his room barely ever needs any real organizational help, but my girls are a little bit different, but this is my staging area, and this pink bin is what I'm gonna be using as a quarantine bin, and I will talk about that a little bit later. And then this is the toy box we're gonna be using. Before I start emptying out Mackenzie's room, I wanna take a moment to introduce my good friend, Nikki. Today's video is a collaboration with her and you guys are going to love her. Her name is actually Brittany and her channel is XO Brittany Nicole, but she goes by Nikki. I've been watching her videos for a few months now and I can truly say I love her content. Her and I have so many things in common and I have never laughed so much while watching a cleaning video. And I've watched a lot of cleaning videos in my time. She is so down to earth and she shares the honest, and I mean honest, ups and downs of life. Not only that, but she gives the best pep talks. I can always count on her for helping me when it comes to putting things into perspective and just life in general. She and I are both decluttering kids toys today so make sure once you're done here to jump over to her channel and I will leave the link to her toy decluttering video in the description box below and I know you guys will love her just as much as I do but now it's time to start emptying out this room it has gotten so bad that she doesn't even play in here anymore. So I really just need to come in here and get rid of stuff. There's just too much stuff. And I have finally gotten to the point where I want to do something about it. So we are going to take advantage of that. And we're going to get all of this emptied out. And we are going to start decluttering. So let's go ahead and get this room emptied out. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted so now Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Now that her room is mostly cleared out, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum under her bed. The only two things that are left in here are the two bins of clothes that are stored under her bed, and those are clothes that my older daughter has grown out of, 
and that is going to be a project for another day. So let's go ahead and just finish up this room and then I will show you what's going on in my staging area. Is anyone else feeling a little overwhelmed right now or is it just me? I mean, I cannot believe how much stuff has accumulated in this little baby girl's three years of life. Now granted, some of it is passed down from my nine-year-old daughter, so some of the baby dolls and the Barbies, but a majority, I would say at least 95% of this is stuff that has been purchased for Mackenzie. I am on a major toy decluttering mission today and I'm not just gonna be like throwing away the McDonald toys, things like that. I am actually downsizing her toy collection. She is a dumper. My sweet, sweet, sweet little girl is a dumper. She will dump any basket, any bin within seconds of grabbing it. So I am going to rewire my brain and I'm going to let her be a three-year-old and this is actually really hard for me but I'm gonna take the cube out. You saw me take the cube out of her room and all eight bins I'm going to pack away for now. I might use them in my son's room. I'm not quite sure yet but I am only going to be using her toy box and then she will have a little basket of Barbies over by her dollhouse two baskets of food by her play kitchen, and then a bin of baby doll stuff, and that's it. So hopefully this helps when it comes to her helping clean up because right now she just refuses to help put anything back into a basket. So, and obviously she's three, she can't read. So I think the bins are just a lot for her to have to take care of. So I'm hoping by just having the toy box and a few small bins of toys, she will be able to help out a little bit more. And the less she has, the less there's potential to be thrown all over the floor. So I hope you guys are ready for a massive toy declutter. I end up with bags and bags and bags of donations and garbage. It feels so good. I'm actually already looking forward to doing another round, even though if I'm being completely honest, this has been one of my harder decluttering projects. I have a really hard time getting rid of perfectly good toys that I know aren't garbage, but knowing that I'm going to be donating all of the perfectly operating toys definitely makes me feel better and it's going to help with my sanity. So I just have to keep that in mind and I've been doing a lot of research. I had to build myself up for this project and I have been watching a lot of the Minimal Mom YouTube videos. I read a book, my first book in probably a decade. Once I had kids, you know how that goes. So I have not read for leisure in at least a decade and it was a book called Declutter like a Mother by Allie and I can't pronounce her last name but I will leave the link to the book in the description box below and that really helped. So if you need to take on a huge project like this and you just don't know where to start, hype yourself up. There is no better way to start a decluttering mission than hyping yourself up. I know at least for me, I cannot go into decluttering if I'm not in the right mindset. You have to be in a mindset that it's just got to go. Like things have got to go. If you're not in the right headspace, it's going to be a lot harder. It's going to be harder mentally, emotionally. So make sure before you start any decluttering project to get in the right mindset, whether it be YouTube videos, podcasts, books, take the time to really research and study the process of decluttering because it really is a process. And that is the whole point of this video. I really want to show you that it's possible, it's doable, and it is going to make you feel so much lighter. It's going to make your house so much easier to manage and maintain. So if you need a decluttering partner, join me. I would love for you to declutter along with me. I would love to go on this journey with you. Leave me a comment below if you two are embarking on a decluttering journey or if you need to or if you need any words of encouragement, leave me a comment down below.
Rolling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I This is where the process started getting a little bit harder. It was time to start downsizing and she has so many multiples of each type of item like Minnie Mouses. She has so many Minnie Mouses and like her little play doctor kits. How many stethoscopes does one three-year-old need? I don't know. So this is where we had to go in and kind of pick what I thought she liked the most, what she used the most, and then donate the rest of them. I'm not going to make you watch this whole process because this took me hours. Even with speeding up these clips, it's still way too long to sit and organize toys. So if you see me jumping around, that is why. The process I'm doing has been pretty simple up until this point. I've just just been grouping like items and I have been discarding right away the things I know she doesn't play with anymore that we can either donate or that just need to go straight to the trash and then I have been grouping all of the like objects so all of her toy food all of her Barbie stuff all of her baby doll stuff things like that are all going together and then after I get everything together, I'm going to downsize even more. That is where it gets hard and that's where I kind of have to stop and think about every little object. It really does turn out well though, so it definitely gives me the motivation I need to keep going. I promise that I, I will stand by you forever And I won't waste it I love the song that's playing right now, but it's time for a quick check-in. Everything in this suitcase is going to go into my daughter's dollhouse. She stands there and plays for hours on end, so I want to make sure I set up her dollhouse. Everything on the couch is my discard, except for the baby dolls. I still have to go through the baby dolls and the stuffed animals, but majority of that stuff is all garbage or donation, so... Let's keep going. One of my biggest projects left is to go through all of their baby doll stuff. So let's go ahead and kind of clear some of this out of the way so we can start working on that. <laughs> i 
So surprisingly, this part wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. My oldest daughter, Madison, asked for a reborn doll a few years ago, and it just so happens that my mom and I and my sister all had baby girl clothes still boxed up. So Madison ended up with a whole bunch of baby girl clothes from her and my niece and Mackenzie. So that is what this is. And I thought I was going to have a really hard time going through it because it's my baby's clothes. I have been looking at this way too long. It is stuffed. The kids don't really play with any of it. So I'm definitely going to keep a few pieces and then I am going to pass on the rest. Like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh, I'm thinking about him I have got him on my mind but he doesn't know my name and I'm running out of time I wish you felt the same and I'm acting stupid like every day don't know what to do or what I should say do you guys remember at the beginning of the video when I mentioned that pink quarantine bin? Well, I didn't end up using that bin, but I used this instead. This, I guess, is what I really needed to quarantine in my house. It's all the small Barbie pieces, the shoes, the accessories, the necklaces, the headbands, all of the things, along with some money that she got for her Fisher Price cash register. It just keeps ending up all over the house. So I ended up leaving five bills in her cash register and then I left like two or three coins and I put the rest in this quarantine container. And if you're wondering where all this quarantine container talk is coming from, that is something the minimal mom uses and she actually had started using that term before quarantine became such a hot topic. And the idea behind quarantining things is where you can put the things that you're just not quite sure of. You're not sure if your kids are gonna remember. You're not sure if you're going to need it later on. So you can put things in a quarantine container and you can stick it in your garage, in your attic, basement, wherever you wanna put it. And then if you end up needing the item, you can go and grab it. But if you don't and a few weeks go by, you can just go ahead and get rid of the quarantine container. So I didn't actually end up using the pink one. If I was gonna get rid of something, I just decided to get rid of it. But I did quarantine all those little Barbie pieces and all of that money. So it's a win-win in my book. We are officially down to the last category that needs to be downsized and that is the play food. Now when I went through the girls rooms a few months ago, 
I got rid of everything that was gross or broken or that looked chewed on. So this is all stuff that is in perfectly good condition. The problem is we just have too much. So I'm going to go ahead and group all of the like objects together again, like the plates, the pots and the pans, the cans, the fruits and the vegetables, things like that. And then I'm going to go through and pick out a few from each category and I was trying to only use this teal bin, but you'll see I actually ended up having to switch to two bins. So it's still working really well, and I don't feel like I got rid of too much. If anything, there's probably a little bit more room to declutter. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. It's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do, yeah. No, nothing's complicated with you. Is officially decluttered and before we do the final walkthrough I wanted to show you everything we are getting rid of those four bags on the right are garbage the two on the left are donation I also already have a bag and some toys in my trunk I have my heated blanket warming up for me because after hours and hours and hours of decluttering I think we all deserve some time on the couch with a warm heated blanket. Here is how everything turned out. I am so happy with how light and fresh this room feels. It doesn't feel like it's way overwhelming with too many toys now. And I'm really hoping both her and I will be able to maintain this a little bit better. But thank you so much for watching today. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you some motivation to go ahead and just tackle those decluttering projects you have. And don't forget to go check out Nikki's channel. Her link to her toy decluttering video is in the description box below. And if you have come over from Nikki's channel, thank you so much for being here. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.